Now, Maurice Kennedy has been one of the most interesting players of the Dallas Cowboys offseason for 2021 and even during training camp and the first preseason game because he has been making electrifying plays throughout the entire course of his time in Dallas. Now, I understand that some of you might say it's just the preseason, it's just training camp and stuff like that, but he's doing these things that honestly are stuff that we need to take seriously because you know Anthony Brown hasn't been looking impressive whatsoever I understand that he only had a couple reps in the preseason game against the Steelers but Kennedy has been making plays and you know just recently in the joint practice with the Rams he had one hell of a snag against Matthew Stafford so I wanted to just talk about how Maurice Kennedy could just snag a roster spot from someone so we're going to go ahead and get into that but before we do that if you could down below make sure to hit the like button it helps the channel out a lot and helps the video and youtube's algorithm on top of that subscribe if you're new here about 90 percent of you guys watching are not subscribed and if you keep coming back why not subscribe so you continue to get this type of content and more importantly hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on new content when it drops now to start things off as a refresher, Kennedy started out with the Baltimore Ravens in 2016 and played with them up until November of the 2019 season where he was claimed by the Jets off of waivers. Then in 2020, he signed with the Dallas Cowboys. However, due to the pandemic, he opted out of the 2020 season. So we weren't able to see what he can do. Then we come here to 2021 and we go to training camp. And we start hearing about how he's been doing. Then we start seeing the footage of how well he's been playing. Then you fast forward even further. We get to the first preseason game versus the Steelers. And we saw the plays he was making in the backfield and everything that he was doing. So we were kind of like, hmm, this guy could really be something. Then we go to this most recent altercation. And that was with the Rams in the joint practice at the SoCal joint practice. And he intercepts. Uh, Matthew Stafford and it was one hell of an athletic display and the thing that kind of has some optimism for me with him is that it's not that he has anybody in front of him that he can't beat now for me I personally think Trevon Diggs is making this roster obviously I think that Kelvin Joseph is definitely making this roster Nashawn Wright is making this roster I personally think Jordan Lewis will make this roster. Some people have said, eh, I don't know. I think he's going to make this roster. However, if there is one spot, rather one player, that couldn't be overtaken, Anthony Brown is that guy. When you look at Anthony Brown's contract, it pretty much is something that you could look at and be like, hey, he's a cap casualty most definitely next season, even if he remains on this team. So when I look at his contract right here, he's currently poised to make $4.25 million off a of base salary. He's got a $1.5 million signing bonus, and overall his cap hit is $5.75 million this season. Going into next year, his cap hit is $6.5 million. So you have to ask yourself, do you think Anthony Brown is worth that money? Me personally, no. For the type of production you're getting from him, honestly, you could probably throw that $5 million elsewhere. So, what if the Cowboys were to cut him as of this year? If the Cowboys were to cut him, because it's a post-June 1st release, the Cowboys would save $2.5 million, however, would have dead cap for 2021 and 2022, being 3.25 million and 1.5 million. So honestly, it's only going to be, you know, a couple bit of dead money. So they can release him without any massive repercussions. But they technically have an out after this year. If they just hold on to him for this year and you go into next year, the Cowboys can cut him and save $5 million before June 1st. And after June 1st, they can, you know, save that money going forward again five million dollars with the dead cap just coming at that point in time so for me i personally believe anthony brown is someone you're looking to cut if you're trying to save money in the long term especially if you're trying to re-sign some of these guys like if you're trying to sign someone else and you need an extra four five million dollars that's what you got to go to 
Now, if Anthony Brown doesn't make this roster, you have five cornerbacks already, as I mentioned with the four previously. So now you got to ask yourself, well, what the hell is going to happen? Do you roll with six? Maybe. But it really just comes down to his play. And Anthony Brown, you know, he should be playing better. If he doesn't play better, he's off this team. And I wouldn't be upset with that. He's, you know, you look at Maurice Kennedy, and he's been playing extremely well. And I think that he will definitely make this roster if the trajectory holds its course. Unless Anthony Brown starts playing better, he's going to be off this team, and he won't be on the 53-man roster. And I can book that. So, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please tell me down in the comment section below who are your locks for making the roster as a cornerback. And more importantly, who do you think Maurice Kennedy can replace? So with that being said, if you guys can leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell on your way out, that would be great. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.